We're going to talk about the sum, difference, product, and quotient of functions. The definitions for what all those mean is going to be right here. Really what it means is uh, whatever sign you see inside that it gives it, that means it tells you what you're doing to the actual functions. So if you see F plus G inside here, we're adding them. We have subtraction, multiplication, and division. So whatever you see inside, that's what you want to actually do with the functions themselves. So we're going to take a look at this first example here. We've got f of x and g of x are given, and we want to do this one, f plus g of x. So we're going to follow what it tells us to do here. It says that this is f of x uh, plus g of x, which means we're just going to add the two functions together. So I have x squared minus 9x. I'm adding the g of x, which is negative 6x. We can simplify this to x squared minus 15x. So now this is going to be our f plus g of x. Now it does ask us to find the domain of each of these as well. So for this, whenever we're looking for domain, the only two situations that we have to watch out for is that we can't divide by zero and we can't take the square root of a negative number. Now, neither one of those things is going to happen on this problem. We don't have any fractions on this one, and there's no square roots in this problem. So if you don't have any of those situations happening, that means we're allowed to put any number we want. And that's going to be true for any kind of polynomial like this. That means that we can put any number in for x. So if I want to do the domain here, d for domain, it's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity, all reals. That would be the answer for uh, part a. All right, now part B, we have F minus G. So once again, we start with the definition. It's F of X minus G of X. So this is going to be X squared minus 9X. But now we're subtracting a negative 6X. So when we simplify it, it really means we're doing X squared minus 9X plus 6X which means that this is actually x squared. We have minus 9 plus 6, so minus 3x we get for that. So that's going to be our expression for the f minus g of x. Now we have to find the domain. Now, once again, we have another polynomial, which means that, again, there's no chance of us dividing by 0 or taking the square root of a negative number. So because of that, your domain is going to be all reals. Part C, F times G we have inside. That means we want to take F of X and multiply it by G of X. Okay, so I have X squared minus 9X. And I'm taking all this and I'm multiplying it by the G, which is negative 6X. So for this, we can use the distributive property and multiply by each of those, we're going to take negative 6x times x squared. So we're going to get negative 6x cubed. Then we're going to take negative 6x times negative 9x. That's going to be plus 54x squared we get, because we're adding the exponents there. Once again, we get another polynomial. The domain is going to be negative infinity, uh, oops, to positive infinity. Okay, so for that one, again, it's a, it's a cube, but there's no division by zero, no square roots, and so that would be your answer, negative infinity to positive infinity. Then we got the final one. We have f over g of x. That means that we're doing f of x divided by g of x, which means we have x squared minus 9x, dividing all that by negative 6x. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you could handle this. If you want to take the negative from the bottom and stick it out front, you can do that. So we can put the negative out front there, or you can attach the negative with parentheses to the top. So a couple of different ways you could write your answer there with that negative. So I'm just going to put the negative out front like this, and then that would be the answer for f over g of x. 
So now we want to find the domain. Now this one's different than the other ones because now we have something on the bottom. So if we have a fraction like this for the bottom, we know that six X cannot be equal to zero. The bottom can't be equal to zero because we can't divide by it, which means if we divide both sides by six, we end up getting X is not equal to zero. So zero is going to cause division by zero here, which we can't have. That means that zero cannot be included in our domain. So we're going to include every number except for zero. So the way we're going to do that is negative infinity to zero. And then from zero to infinity. And so every number is okay except for zero is the only one we can't include.